Hello my friends, today we are in Luminar Neo and we are going to talk about Atmosphere AI. Um, this video is going to be pretty short because today it's my birthday and I have other things to do. But where do we find Atmosphere AI? If you go to edit, it will be under creative tab over here on the right. And when you open the tab, you will be finding this four different kind of atmosphere. You'll have fog, layer fog, mist, and haze. Now this particular image I have right here is not a good candidate for adding atmosphere, but I chose it because you can really see what each one of these uh, modes does. So because when, once we understand exactly what it does, then we can better use it in other images. So let's see. Fog, if I increase the amount all the way to 100%, you see it did not make a good selection. But the one thing we notice is that it applies it on the upper half of the image. And even if I increase depth, the upper half has the most fog and then it gradually goes into the bottom. And that's the max I can get with it. Every slider is up to 100%. All right, let's see the next one, layer fog. Layer fog, it seems to mostly do it on the lower third of the image. And every slider it's 100% and we get nothing on the top. We get most of the amount over here in the lower third and then a little bit on the bottom. So it graduates towards the lower third from the bottom. The next one is mist. And the mist is just like the first one we did, used. It's pretty much on the top half and gradually goes towards the bottom. And then haze. Haze is another one that applies mostly on the lower third. So let's review that. Fog and mist applies mostly on the top half. And layer fog and haze is the one that applies mostly on the lower thirds. Great. Now that we know that, let's see how we use it in real life. It's important to know which images will work best with um, Atmosphere AI. And uh, from my experience, from all the images I've been trying, I can tell you it's best to have an image that already has a little bit of atmosphere, a little bit of fog or haze or something, and that will just make it look most natural. So in this image, as you see, we already have some um, fog happening, some haze in the distance. So this would be a great candidate to add some more. So for example, if I go to mist and add, you see it has a depth aware map so we will not apply to the main subject if you have a person in the front a building a tree it's pretty smart about not applying that mist or haze or whatever you're applying to the front so i can move the depth and then i can force it to go over the front of the trees but the way it works the program it will just apply it in the background so that is mist let's see fog fog does kind of the same thing I can increase the depth and bring it in. And then layer fog is just going to focus more over here onto the lower third. If I increase it to 100%, you can really see it. And for this image, this does not work well. So we want something that will go from the top to the lower third. And I think mist was working just great for this. I'm going to, let's see how can I fade it a little bit better maybe lower the amount, and something like that looks good to me. So this is the before and after, before and after. Let's take a different example. Sometimes you might want to add um, atmosphere just to kind of take away from the distractions in the background. In this case, this lady is taking a picture of this scene, this little church, but we can kind of make that go away a little bit so the focus is on her. And the way we'll do that is we can add some atmosphere. So if I go to mist and add some atmosphere, you see we're kind of fading all of that. And now we don't see exactly what's happening there in the background very well. And we can shift focus towards our main subject. Something like that. And this is our before and after. Before and after. Let's see another example. We can add some fog over here. And here you will see how the depth map will be created around these trees. We'll go to Edit and then to Atmosphere AI. And I will choose, let's go with fog this time. 
you can see how we'll just add some fog and this is our before and after before and after maybe one more example let's see maybe these trees and here is a good example where maybe the layer fog might work well because sometimes in the woodland you'll find that low hanging fog so let's see if i go to layer fog you see how it's just down low i'm gonna increase the depth and maybe reduce the amount maybe make it not so light and this is our before and after before and after and for this example i think the layer fog works in the woodland area maybe let's see one more example can we add some fog over the city here we'll go to edit atmosphere i'm going to increase the amount to 100 percent and there is our city is very foggy but this is i don't like the transition here it's like from very very foggy to very very clear i'm going to increase the depth just to kind of blur it reduce the amount maybe a little bit and now this is our fog before and after and that looks more natural before and after let's see do we have other examples um let's try this beautiful family and this is a good example to show how we can reduce these greens the greens are way too saturated in the back but by adding some mist we're gonna lighten those and kind of fade them out and there you go this is our before and after before and after maybe more examples do i have anything else let's take this lady on the street and this is already almost like a high key example where everything is so bright with very minimum shadows but we can further enhance this by adding some maybe we'll go to mist this time and we'll add some there in the background and you see how we're losing all these details we're just kind of almost erasing the background in a way if you will and we can add the depth more depth and now we're really losing that and the focus is really on our subject this is our before this is the after before and after any more examples i don't know exactly what i chosen here let's do this example and for this one we'll go to edits we'll go to atmosphere let's try fog and we'll just add some fog for this example i don't like the way it works because i do like those beautiful uh, sunrise colors and we're kind of losing that it kind of washes it out this is the before and after before and after anyway this is just a quick overview of how atmosphere ai works in luminar neo some images works better than others this is for you to play around with try all those uh, modes the fog layer fog and so on and you know it's based on what kind of image you're working with you might get different results thank you so much for watching my name is skylar ewing i'll see you in my next video